Today, so far, this Google AdSense account has made $97.24. Yesterday was a pretty good day, made $154.36. So in today's video, I want to show you how to make money with Google AdSense in 2021. I'm going to show you how to do this without any SEO, without waiting a long period of time for traffic. The method I'll show you today is brand new. It's all about placing free ads on a very popular social media network. It's 100% free. And every time someone clicks from one of those ads onto Google AdSense on your account, you can get paid anywhere from 30 cents to $5 per click. So if you want to learn this fast and easy method, don't go anywhere. Hey guys, my name is Greg Kononenko. On this channel, I publish regular videos on AdSense, affiliate marketing and traffic generation. So if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed, then click subscribe just below this video to stay notified of my future videos. Thank you, let's get into it. So the method that I want to share with you today is about putting these free posts, these so-called free ads onto Pinterest. And I'm going to show you how to create these very simple images. You can see these simple images on the screen here and how to get them to rank on the first page of Pinterest search results. So whenever somebody types in best credit cards, how to get your pins to come up here on page one. And it only literally takes one to two minutes to create each one of these pins. Now, once you create them and once they start coming up for these various search terms on the front page of Pinterest, I will show you how to get them to land onto your blog where you're going to have AdSense ads. For example, when somebody searches for best credit cards and they see your pin here and they click on this pin, they can further click through onto this pin to travel to your website. This example website here that opens up when we click this pin has got affiliate links, which is also a really good way to monetize this strategy. You can absolutely do this as well. But one of the simplest ways is to include Google AdSense into your website. This is one of my websites, that's hustle.com. And as you can see, I've got ads. So here is an ad, it's inserted automatically by Google into my website. So this is a Google AdSense ad, and I make money with Google AdSense from this website and from a number of other websites by simply sending traffic to the site. So you can see I've got one ad here and another ad here. Everything is automated. I use free traffic to do this. And in case you are wondering whether Pinterest really and truly works, well, here is just one example. If you type in how to get more traffic to your website, which is a popular search term, as you can see, it's one of the predicted search terms in Pinterest. So a lot of people type that in. So if we click that, you will see here are the search results. Okay, for this term, once again, I'll just just so that you can see that this is for real and my website actually is there. This is my pin. It took seconds to create. You can see it's very simple and it gets regular traffic. I've got hundreds and hundreds of these pins for all of my websites on multiple Pinterest profiles. It's easy to rank. I'm gonna show you every single step, but you need to make sure that you don't miss any part of this video. And then of course, as people find my pins, they click on the pin to view the image. And then after they've clicked on the pin to view the image, they click on the actual uh, URL and then they land onto my website and I can monetize this in a number of different ways. Today, we're gonna focus on how to monetize it with AdSense. So I'm gonna show you how to send all of this traffic from Pinterest to pages that look like this, super simple pages, how to get these Google AdSense ads to come up automatically. You don't need to do anything for this and how to get the traffic to then click these ads and ultimately make you money every time somebody clicks one of these ads. The first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that you have chosen a good topic for your campaigns, the topics that pay a good amount of money. And for that, we're going to use a free tool called Google Ads Keyword Planner. So just type that into Google, sign up if you have to, and um, you can then use this keyword research tool. So let me show you a couple of examples. So in this screen, we're going to type in a generic keyword such as, for example, climate change. Make sure that for your locations, you've chosen Australia, India, United Kingdom, and United States. That's what I normally use. And then we're going to click get results. And let's take a look. If you start uh, posting information about climate change and uh, you start trying to monetize it, what kind of payouts you might get. So we can see here, um, climate change top of page bid okay is 228 and top of page bid high range is 773 not bad but then if you look at the related keyword ideas you can see that the payout is about 112 to 462 
uh, 0.06 and 131. Okay, so these kind of keywords, they this is the, the sort of the range that you're dealing with. And what this range means is how much a company that wants to advertise is willing to pay you to show your ad um, if somebody clicks on it. So essentially, if you had a page about climate change and you were showing Google ads, this is an approximation of how much that advertiser would pay for that click. So just to make sure that this all makes sense, let's say you get somebody from Pinterest to get onto your website and pretend that this website is about climate change. Okay, if somebody clicks on this ad or on this ad here, you as the owner of the website would be likely to get paid, uh, let's say $2 to $7 or $1 to $4.62, depending on the topic that your page is about. Um, this is just an approximation, guys. Um, you know, it can be a lot lower, it can be a lot higher, but let's just compare different topics because you need to make sure that you choose a profitable topic if you want to make good money with this method. All right, so this was climate change. Now, let's go and choose something like best credit cards, okay? And then we click on get results and let's take a look at the payouts there. So you can see that the numbers are actually a lot better, okay? So best credit cards, you can see it's between $3 and $14. So the other one was two to seven. But then look at all of the related um, related keyword ideas. We had some that were under $1, all right, in with the other topics. But here we can see that we've got 5 to 19, 5 to $35, 2 to 11, 5 to $37. So these are much better ranges. And so this would be a much better topic for you to go into because your earnings would be five or even 10 times higher than with a previous topic that we showed as an example. If you'd like to get some help with finding these well-paying AdSense niches, just type in something like highest paying AdSense niches into Google. You'll get lots of results. You can review any of these. And this way you can quickly get some ideas for what kind of topics you want to deal with. Next, you'll want to set up your base of operations and that involves creating a super simple website. First, you will want to go onto namecheap.com and purchase a domain. So this is going to be your brand going forward. I would advise to create a brand that you can use with a lot of different niches and sub niches. So for example, something like caffeinatedbloggerfinance.com. So you can type in um, this into the search box and then click search and that will tell you whether the a domain is available or not. So caffeinatedbloggerfinance.com is available, so you can go ahead and purchase it. Uh, this way, if I register a domain such as caffeinatedbloggerfinance, I can talk about mortgages, I can talk about credit cards, I can talk about education, you know, a lot of different things. And I can sort of expand in the future if I want to and host all of those uh, pages on the one website. Uh, if I registered something like caffeinated blogger credit cards, that would limit me to just being able to talk about credit cards. So just go and register a broader domain. Once you've got your, uh, your domain purchased on Namecheap, you will need to also then get a hosting account. The hosting account will allow you to have your website that will hold your website information, make it available online. So I highly recommend SiteGround.com. There is a link in the description that will take you to the best pricing for SiteGround.com. So if you don't currently have a website, I highly recommend that you uh, create one. You will need the website anyway if you want to be serious about having an online business, about affiliate marketing, about AdSense, about whatever it is that you want to do, you need to have a website. I'm going to put a link here in the top right of the screen as well as in the description below this video that will take you through step by step exactly how to set up a simple website pretty quickly in under an hour you can have a website up and running. I'm not going to spend time in this video otherwise this video would just be too long. The next thing that you'll want to do is create 10 articles on your website. Your website needs to have some content uh, this is going to be necessary for you to get approved by Google AdSense and to get some ideas, some topics for uh, your articles, just go and enter some of the terms from your chosen niche into Google Ads Keyword Planner tool. And uh, for example, if we go with best credit cards, okay, if our topic is credit cards, then you can create articles on any of these. So for example, you can create an article on a best travel credit card, okay, and just write an article about that then you can create an article about best balance transfer credit cards and then another on top credit cards. So just create an article that is targeting 10 different terms. You can also change and um, type in different other seed terms. For example, you can type in credit cards Australia or credit cards 
Ireland or whatever it is that you would like to do and um, then create an article on each of these terms. Essentially, it doesn't matter what topics you're creating the articles on as long as the payout is good because we're going to be getting traffic from Pinterest. Pinterest traffic is easy to get. You don't have to use SEO. There is not going to be any kind of competition. It's all about getting Pinterest traffic to this article and then this article will be attracting AdSense ads and advertisers that will be willing to pay these good bids if anytime anyone clicks on the ad on your article. So you'll just want to create a simple article that looks like this. This is on my thatshustle.com account, okay? Just type in some information and text because all of these Google ads will be shown automatically. I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit later in this video. Essentially, once you create the article and it's got the right keywords in it, there, um, that will prompt Google AdSense to show the right ads targeting the right keywords. So you can see, for example, this article here, best survey apps to make money on my thatshustle.com blog, is attracting ads about surveys. See this, article, uh, this ad here says earn up to $50 per survey. So someone will be willing to pay me a certain amount of dollars anytime anyone clicks on this ad. Similarly, if your article is about Credit Cards Australia, then the ads that will be shown on your article will be about Credit Cards Australia. So to recap, your 10 articles need to be about 1,000 to 1,500 words each. You use, uh, create a different article per keyword. So for example, if one of your keywords is about Credit Cards Australia, then write an article about that. Use that keyword term in that article. If another one is, if another keyword is uh, best balance transfer credit cards, then write an article about that and put that keyword several times in the article. And so eventually your website will look like something like this with all of the articles, the most recent articles listed on your homepage. And if you have no idea how to write blog posts, how to go about the whole process, then click the link in the description. I'm gonna to try to put a card here in the top right as well. That'll take you through the process from start to finish for how to actually create a post inside WordPress. I'm not gonna cover it in this video, otherwise it will just get a little bit too long. But go ahead and watch that video if you've never created a blog post before and you have no idea where to start. Once your website is finished and your 10 high quality articles are completed, then go ahead and apply for AdSense. So just type in to Google, apply for AdSense. It'll be this top result. Once you click on it, it will take you through the whole process for what you need to do to create a Google AdSense account. Okay, so just click here, sign up for AdSense fill out all of the required information and um, Google will then review your information and get back to you within a few days. If you don't get accepted the first time you apply, don't panic, this is completely normal. Just continue with the rest of this video. Once Google sees that you're starting to get some traffic onto your website from Pinterest and from other traffic sources, they will be more likely to approve it. They know how much traffic you receive and generally they uh, may only approve websites that are starting to get some traffic. So don't stress at all about it. Um, apply, you can apply multiple times. You can apply every few weeks or every month if you want to. So apply, you might get approved. Quite a few of my students get approved even if um, they don't have any traffic right now, just because they have high quality content on their website, they're getting approval from Google AdSense. If you don't get the approval first go, it's all good. Just um, reapply again and continue with the rest of this method. As a next step, let's talk about Pinterest and how people use it. So Pinterest is basically a massive search engine. And the cool thing is that the results that come up are based on the images. All right, so all you need to do if you want to rank on Pinterest is to create an image that gets a lot of clicks. You don't have to write long content and you can create dozens of these pins every single day. Uh, and if your pin is good, if your image is good, then it will have a great chance of ranking here on page one for the search. And people do look for a lot of information in literally any topic that you can possibly think of here on Pinterest. For example, if you type in something like how to lose weight like this, you will see all of the suggestions that are coming up. How to lose weight quickly, how to lose weight in a week, how to lose weight in your face, etc. If you type in information about credit cards, okay, you'll get all of the different suggestions. Credit cards with money, credit cards for bad credit, credit cards debt, credit cards with money on them. So uh, all of this is sourced from the actual user search queries that get typed into Pinterest every single day. So if it comes up as one of the suggested uh, autocomplete sort of keywords or key phrases, it means that there are real people that are searching for this. So this is a good keyword for you to create a pin on. So let's say we choose something like credit cards for bad credit. Okay, maybe we're thinking of creating a pin targeting this keyword. 
So all of these pins, they um, probably have credit cards for bad credit mentioned somewhere in them. So let's look at the number one result here, this one here. All right, so we can see it says credit cards for bad credit. All right, so this is why this pin is coming up here. Um, that's because in the description of the pin, it says credit cards for bad credit. So, and this pin probably attracts attention, it's getting good clicks, and this is why Pinterest decided to rank it as number one. But the good news is that you can always compete. All you need to do is just create this simple pin image and upload it to Pinterest, and this way you will be able to also have a chance of ranking. That's exactly what I have done with hundreds of my pins that I have created and posted for all of my websites. I just find these uh, potential keyword terms, okay, and I create pins in them, and some of them do great, some fail, but it literally only takes a minute or two to create each of these pin images. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. First though, you need to create a Pinterest account, so go to business.pinterest.com and register and create an account there. The second thing you'll want to do is set up your account. To do that, just um, learn or kind of copy some of the elements from some of the other Pinterest profiles in that niche, so for example, if um, you are going to be targeting credit cards or finance, type in a keyword into Pinterest and then take a look at any of the profiles. So this is the pin and this is the profile that posted this pin, okay? So you can click on this and you can see how they have set up their profile and you can set up your profile in the same way with a nice banner at the top as well as a nice description and your website link as well. So let me just show you an example, a real life example from my website. One of the keywords that I decided to target personally was best survey apps to make money. So I created a post on my website about 11 best survey apps to make money like this. Then I researched it in Pinterest. You can see if I type in best survey apps, there is one of the suggested keywords is best survey apps to make money. So I had a look at the other pins that were there when I typed that in and I created this pin here. It's very simple, this one that says 11 awesome phone apps that pay real money. And so this comes up anytime someone types in this search phrase or it often comes up under related. So for example, if someone opens, let's say this pin here, see at the bottom there are related pins. Uh, these ones over here, okay? So I have a very good chance of coming up here under these related pins. And basically anytime someone finds my pin and then from here they can click on the actual pin on the URL and they will end on my site from where they can click Google AdSense ads like this one over here or this one over here, right? Um, and this is exactly how this works. So basically we're taking all this traffic from Pinterest, we're getting it to click these simple pins, we're getting it to land onto our site. From there, we're getting them to click these Google AdSense ads and anytime someone clicks the ad, what happens is that you will get paid by Google AdSense. How do you create pins? Well, that's very simple. You can use this uh, app called canva.com. It's completely free. Just click create a design and then under designs, search Pinterest. It will already have a lot of templates for Pinterest pins. You can do all of your research by looking at similar other pins. There are reasons why these top pins are ranking uh, in the front 10 or top 10, top 20 results. So you can get some of the design ideas from these pins and then just create these pins here inside uh, the canva.com creator. Once you've created the pin image, you need to click this one here, create pin. And once you've created the pin, you will need to upload your image. So you'll see a window similar to this. So just upload your image, add your title. In the title, you need to mention the keyword that you're looking to target. And then once again, mention it in the description. So write a title and the description. And finally, there will be an option here like this that says add destination link. And this is where you will want to put the URL on your blog page of the blog post that you would like to send this traffic to. So simply add that and post your pin and move on to the next one. Here is your plan to succeed with this method. What you need to do is create those 10 articles on 10 different keywords on the high paying keywords that we talked about earlier in this video. For each of these articles, you can create 10 to 20 pins to start out. Um, now each pin only takes a few minutes to create as you've seen, so you can easily do this very, very quickly. You can create 10 or 20 pins every single day, so it does not take long at all. Target different keywords in each pin. So I showed you how to research the keywords. So target each pin um, to a different keyword and link each of these pin images to the most appropriate post. Don't forget you're gonna have 10 posts on your blog. So each of the pins that you create can be linked to one of these 10 posts. After that, you, what you need to do is basically commit to learning Pinterest because Pinterest is a very powerful 
uh, platform and you can become an influencer on Pinterest, you can grow your followers. So I'm going to put some links in the description below this video that will show you how to grow your followers because after you start growing followers, anytime you publish a pin, all of the followers will be likely to see it as well. So you can actually grow your tribe and become uh, more and more proficient with Pinterest and that is something that you can use to your advantage to make good money with Google AdSense using this method. If you've been rejected for AdSense the first time you apply, don't despair, just continue with the rest of this method. And once your site starts getting traffic, there will be high likelihood that they will get accepted further down the track. If you'd like to get some one-on-one -on -one help from me with your blogging, affiliate marketing and AdSense, then you can check the links in the description below. I've got currently a 35% discount of my blogging mentorship and course. You can use this coupon YouTube to get your 35% discount. Thank you for watching. Here are the two videos for you to watch next. My name is Greg Kononenko. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not yet a subscriber just below this video. I really appreciate you watching this and I'll see you in the next video.